Hey everyone, Sam Rethmeyer here with the Wednesday Night Wine Club, and this is the red wine video for the May 2021 shipment. Let's get into it. All right, really excited to jump into this wine. This is Piamaggio. 2015 Chianti Classico, and this has a fantasy name called Le Fiore, which roughly translates to the flower cellars. Piamaggio as an estate actually can trace its roots back to the 11th century. A priest uh, was passing through Tuscany. Um, again, the La Fiore uh, references the flower cellars. During the, the heat of the day, he uh, passed out. These um, florists came to his aid. Uh, and he had this wonderful memory of that experience as he traveled around. He eventually came back to Tuscany and started a church, planted vines, and the rest is history. Now, County Glasgow, located in Tuscany in Italy, has a pretty storied past. Whether it was the 1870s when a baron created a recipe for the wine that involved adding white grape varieties, to the 1960s where that recipe was turned into law, uh, which also coincided with those straw bottom bottles, um, uh, aptly named fiascos, uh, which then saw the quality of Chianti Classico decline, decline rapidly um, to the predictable Italian response to being told how to make their wine by the government, which was a lot of this, which then gave rise to the super Tuscan movement, um, Sasakaya, uh, 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 Ornalaya, and it really was just uh, tons of stuff going on. But the great news is that now Chianti Classico makes some of the most consistently high quality wine, red wines that you'll find anywhere. And Sangiovese is one of the greatest grape varieties in that it is radically versatile. This is the, the wine that I will take to friends' houses when I don't know what they're making because it will go with grilled fish, it can work with salads, it will work with steaks. This is the Swiss army knife of red wine. So as I mentioned uh, earlier, Sangiovese is the primary grape variety in Chianti Classico and anywhere now from 80 to 100 percent of the total wine. Okay, so what does this wine smell like? Tart cherries, tarragon, tomato leaf. This wine is savory. Uh, I, I, I want a steak so badly right now just smelling this. Okay, and now to taste. Okay, now I really need a steak. Uh, Sun-dried tomatoes, the tomato leaf, those tart cherries, great acidity. Your mouth, you just start salivating. It's got the tannin structure. Tannins are a, a tactile sensation and, and kind of make your, your mouth kind of pucker up. Um, almost in reverse, if that makes any sense. But it's like all, you salivate on the one hand because of the acidity, but then all of the moisture in your mouth gets sucked away. That is a fantastic combo for fattier foods. And really, when you talk about a wine pairing, or, or rather a food pairing with Sangiovese, grilled steak is, I mean, fireworks go off. There might not be a better pairing on earth than those two items. You can totally do lamb. You can totally do grilled fish. Salmon would be fantastic, but steak really is the apex of this wine. Now, if you really like this wine, um, again, definitely check out different Chianti Classico producers. If you don't see this, Cab Franc is a great alternative. Uh, Pinot Noir can actually be a great alternative as well. And you can find Pinot from Italy that again is at a very affordable price point. All right, hopefully you have a steak on the grill right now and are enjoying this wine just as much as I do. Cheers.